Welcome back, guys. Well, since I'm having so much difficulty with the Makulu and the NVIDIA drivers, this is my fourth install, and I'm going to go through it um, one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to make sure that I uh, am doing this right. So, this is a brand new install. The only thing I did was download Voco Screen to do the video. Uh, the update manager is telling me I have a recommended update. So we will take a look at that. And, <coughs> excuse me. So we will take a look and see what's going on. Now it's, uh, it's checking again to see if I have any other updates. And it's telling me I only have wine tricks. So I will do the update. <clears throat> and we will get that out of the way. Now when I updated the uh, driver manager as Jacques had suggested, I did that through the Debian file. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to go to, let's see, that's the, uh, <clears throat> software manager and while we're waiting let's pull up the Makulu web. and as you can see it's driver manager 1.24 1.2.4 now <clears throat> Let's see, simply refresh your cache, which I did, and update the Mint Drivers package to the new version. Or you can use the dev file from here. Okay, so I just downloaded the dev file, and I'll keep that in my downloads folder. Let's see if we have that. <coughs> <coughs> Damn allergies. Uh, so you can see that the, the uh, Debian file is in my downloads folder. Now last time I double clicked it as Jock suggested and then I ran the uh, package, installed the package and tried to update my NVIDIA driver. That I did that twice. That has not worked. So let's take a look at driver manager. Now when I installed and I posted the screenshot, uh, you know, in the comments of my last video, Jacques asked why I installed the uh, updates driver. And that was because I had already tried install installing the recommended driver with no luck. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if the system is operating properly, I should be able to install any driver on this list. I should be able to switch back and forth. There should be no restrictions as to which driver you install. So, I take exception to that um, question about asking why I installed the updates driver. I should be able to. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if we can get this to uh, to work properly. <clears throat> okay. So there's Mint drivers. Let's go back to the website. Mint drivers. 1.2.4 it's telling me I already have it installed
this is 1.1.8. So we are going to go to synaptic. Now I just want to make sure that there isn't another mechanism. I don't see any. I've got sources. But I don't see any mechanism for updates there. And software manager I already looked in, update manager I've already run. So let's go to synaptic. Okay, so let's search for mint drivers. Now it says that I have 1.1.8 and the latest version is 1.2.4. Okay, so that's marked for installation now. And I'm going to apply to be upgraded Mint drivers. Okay, so I think that is it. And we are going to update. Now keep in mind, last time I ran the deb file. So changes have been applied. And let's make sure I have 1.2.4, which I do. So now I have 1.2.4. Let's close this out. We will close that out. And we will update my driver. There is the recommended. We're going to apply the changes. Now, once these changes get applied, I'm going to, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to copy this video file to a USB and then I will reboot and hopefully I'm back into Makulu with the NVIDIA 352 and I will make the second part of the, of the video. If this doesn't work, I'm going to make the second part of the video from within my Manjaro install. And I will be back with you now. Okay, so it's telling me I have a proprietary driver in use, but it still shows X server. So I am assuming that once I reboot, it will go to the recommended. So guys, I'm going to reboot and I will be right back with you with the results. Stay tuned. Okay hey guys, I'm back, uh, but not with the results of the update. When I tried to play back the video, I just want to make you aware. Uh, when I tried to play back the, the video that I just made, uh, this is part two. When I did that, if I go into files, 
<clears throat> there is the video. And when I double click it, it says error. OpenGL version is too low. Bomi, which is their uh, video player, requires OpenGL 2.1 or higher. Failed to check OpenGL support. It may help to update the driver of the graphics card. Okay, so it looks like the problem is with Bomi. So let's install SM Player. And we will see if it plays that video. Okay, do you see what's happening here? Now I have not rebooted yet. It says uh, setting up SM player, uh, error code, and the NVIDIA-352 package. So hopefully that's just a um, just because I haven't rebooted yet. So let's see if we can open up SM Player and we're going to try to play this video. Matt guys. Hey, what do you know? Well, so the video plays an SM player, and it's not a uh, Makulu issue. It is a Bomi issue. So, guys, I'm going to reboot, and I'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Um, well, here I am, and I am in my Linux Mint Mate. And the reason being is that when I rebooted to get back into Makulu, this is what I got. I'm gonna show you the screenshot. Cinnamon just crashed. You are currently running in fallback mode. Panel at the top, blank, does nothing. Panel at the bottom, blank, does absolutely nothing. Couldn't get, couldn't do anything. I had in order to take a screenshot. I had to go into the applications folder and start that screenshot application to take this screenshot. But other than that, it was a no go. Couldn't open driver manager. Couldn't do any of those things. So. This happened, as I said, when I tried using the Debian file, and this happened using Synaptic to update Mint Driver. Now, and so I'm in Linux Mint right now because I wanted to just do a brief comparison. In Linux Mint, if I go into system, let's see if where is the driver manager right here okay so if I go into driver manager in Linux Mint it gives me basically the same thing that Makulu did and it allows me to select whatever driver I want so in this case I selected, I believe, the 340 driver because, um, let's see, 352 was recommended. I installed the 340 because I read some information online that uh, Linux Mint may be having some problems with the 352. So rather than risk it, I installed the 340. Now, as I mentioned before, um, when you're in driver manager, <clears throat> if Makulu is going to use the same driver manager as Mint, then it should work the same way as Mint. I should be able to install 
any one of these and switch between them um, after rebooting, of course. So, uh, but that's not happening with Makulu. There is definitely a problem with Makulu and the uh, graphics drivers. I don't know what it is. That's for Jacques to figure out. But um, I'm sure I'm not alone. I don't have a... Now, if I open up NVIDIA... If I open up NVIDIA, you can see now when I opened up NVIDIA in uh, Makulu, it had nothing over here, nothing over here. As you can see, the NVIDIA server settings tells me I'm running 340.96. I could update this to NVIDIA 352 very easily, just go through the process. It, it works. It works in Linux Mint. Now, if Makulu is going to use if they're going to create a hybrid using parts of Linux Mint, parts of Ubuntu, parts of Debian, then it needs to function. It needs to function out of the box. I understand about bugs, but this is a major bug. This needs to be resolved if Makulu is going to um, be accepted. Right now, I would love to be using Makulu. I can't use it because it will not function. Um, after I update the driver using their recommended method and then I reboot, this is what I get. And as I mentioned, I'm using, I've used both methods recommended. I used the um, update the cache and then install through Synaptic. And I also uh, tried installing by double clicking the Debian file and installing the package that way. It, uh, it, with both methods I got this same screen. So it is not functioning. Now Jock, I'd be happy to help you get this resolved. If you want me to try anything um, I'd be more than willing. I've worked with uh, a few of the developers in the past resolving issues and they have passed along suggestions to me, some updates. If you have something you'd like me to try, I'm more than willing to do another install. So uh, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, I, I can't use Makulu. Um, if Jock wants me to try something else, as I said, I will do another install and see if we can get that resolved. I'll do anything that I can to help. Uh, but it should be functioning exactly like this. There should be no issues. So uh, I'm going to wrap up the video uh, right here. This is Linux Mint. Runs perfectly fine. I'm going to wrap up the video and I should have this posted um, within an hour or two. So guys, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and Jacques, if you're, if you're watching, um, I'm not uh, pointing the finger. I'm just trying to help resolve an issue that appears to exist within the distribution. And as I said, I'll do whatever I can to help. So guys, thanks for stopping by, uh, and I will see you soon. Take care.